Angel, who loves canine sports sack? Who loves canine sports sack? Yes! Do you love your canine sports sack backpack? Yes! Hey everybody, it's Eric at Nailed It Field Reviews. Today we're here in the office with Angel. As you can see, she's super excited to tell you guys about the canine sports sack dog backpack. We're gonna be doing a two year long term review today with Angel. She's gonna show you how she fits in between the small and the medium. We're gonna talk about its features and how we use it every week to get Angel out on our daily mountain bike and hiking adventures. So let's talk about it right now on Nailed or Failed Reviews. Angel, you wanna go for a bike ride? Welcome back to another episode of Nailed or Failed Reviews. Again, Angel is gonna be helping us today do another review video on some dog gear. And if you saw her last video on the comparison and sizing differences between the harnesses and the rough wear line, definitely hit that subscribe button right now so that you get alerted when we come out with a long-term one-year review on this Phi GPS dog tracking collar, as well as these Rex Specs dog goggles and a host of other gear. Again, hit that subscribe button right now so that you get alerted when we come out with those long-term reviews. You're really gonna love this gear to help you guys get your dog out on the trail and track their steps and a, a whole bunch of other stuff. So again, today we're doing this review. Angel is gonna be helping us talk about the Canine Sport Sack Backpack. This is a super awesome piece of gear that we have had for a little over two years now. We bought this bag back on Black Friday in 2018, and they just released an updated version of it here. You can see it's in this really cool camo blue. This is called the Plus Two. And today again, we're gonna go over its features, and then we're actually gonna show you how Angel fits in between the size small and the size medium because there is a pretty big jump and we're talking about trying to size these things properly for smaller and medium sized dogs. There are a few things to be aware of. So let's get into the details and the features of the bag. Okay, so let's talk about the features of the bag. It's pretty lightweight and you know, it basically looks like almost like a regular backpack, like a kid's backpack. It's not very substantial in any type of padding that it has on there, but it is substantial in the material that it's made out of. It's made out of Cordura uh, fabric. This is a very, you know, tear proof, uh, bite resistant, resistant to dog nail type of thing. Uh, so again, it's gonna be very durable to resist, you know, a dog being inside of it and just going around with a dog. Um, it's uh, well constructed, you know, as far as we can see on our, you know, two year long term review, if we wanna just mention a few things, we've had no stitch failures or tears or anything like that. And we primarily use this to go mountain biking. So a very, very durable bag. But if we start talking about the features of the bag, we'll start here on the front. This is gonna be the part that faces people when you're wearing it. You see that it's got this Velcro patch here. That's to hold their custom patches that you can get made like with your dog's name. So that's available if you wanna do that. Then it has a full length zipper here. So let's start at the top at the neck hole. So it's got a nice big neck hole for your dog to just you know have their neck sticking out of. It has a cinch strap here so that you can tighten that down and you'll notice that it goes through the zipper tab. So when you zip this up, it has a little nice tab here. You put your buckle through there for the neck hole and that keeps the zipper from undoing itself. So nice little feature there. The zipper itself is a nice full length zipper. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag and opens up. And then you're gonna see it has this big flap of material here 
This is meant to help keep the dog's hair out of the zipper when you're zipping this up, once you get them loaded into the bag. Very, very important. You know, easily can catch your dog's hair in there with some of those dogs that got really long hair, fluffy hair. So really nice feature here on the bag. You're also gonna notice that it has some extra straps here on the front. These are for once your dog is loaded in, you can actually buckle these and again, cinch them down to either take up any extra material or just, you know, make them feel a little bit more secure in there. This is a nice feature to just help them because when they do sit in it, they're sort of like leaning back in it. And I think these are nice uh, straps to have to actually tighten things up a little bit just to make them feel a little bit more comfortable. If we move down to the bottom, you can see it's got a really big, nice panel at the bottom. It's shaped and it's meant to help the bag stand up as well as give the dogs like a platform to stand on when they're inside the bag. So this has a piece of foam in it. It also has like a very thin piece of plastic sheet of some type. And it's just a nice uh, shaped piece of bottom of the bag to again, help it have some shape and give them something to stand against. When we open the bag up, there really isn't anything that they've added to it to protect it or do anything else, you know, while the dog is inside. It's just the back side of the fabric. And the only thing that you're going to notice in here is that up here at the top of the bag, where they're uh, the top of the neck hole here, it has this little uh, carabiner to actually attach to your dog's collar. You can use this if you think it's necessary, you know, if you feel like your dog is going to try to get out of there or whatever. We don't use this feature uh, because it's just another thing to attach to them and that you have to get undone when you're actually getting them out of the bag. And we haven't ever found it to really be necessary, but it is there if you want to use that. When we move over to the side panels, each side panel is the same on both sides. So to start with, you have a mesh water bottle holder. It is pretty tight in here, so you can only fit just a basic water bottle or some poop bags or a leash. You're not gonna really fit much stuff in there. As we move up, you'll see that it has this perforated fabric here. This is a really nice feature because it helps the bag stay a little bit cooler. Again, this is made out of Cordura fabric, so that's gonna get pretty warm. And when you're wearing this and doing something like hiking or biking, you know, the majority of the time, the sun is gonna be at your back and that's gonna be on the dog. So you want this, this bag to be, you know, as breathable as it could be for them to, to keep them comfortable. So nice perforated panel of fabric there. You're also gonna see that as we move up to the top, it's sort of like this uh, stretchy material on the neck hole. And again, that's just gonna help so that when you're getting them in there and then, then, you know, so the neck hole is just nice and flexible for if they wear a harness. You know, when we put Angel in here, she does have her collar and her harness on. So it's nice that they've put that on there to make that area nice and flexible. They also have some cinch down straps on the side to again, help uh, cinch down some material and just make it a little bit more snug. Once you get your dog loaded in, you can cinch those down and you know use them if you need to. All right, if we move around to the part that you're gonna be wearing, we'll start at the top here and you're gonna see you've got these two holes for the dog's front legs to come out of. They've got a little bit of extra material sewn on the edges of them to just make it more comfortable for their legs. And so it's not, you know, scratching them or anything. It has a pull handle here. This is really important for when you're actually putting the bag on. So a nice strong handle here. When we move down to the backpack straps, I will say this is this is probably one of my biggest negatives with the K9 Sports Sack bag. They're you know very uh, minimal in the padding. There is no shaping to them at all. Uh, they're very 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 minimal pads. Uh, they they do do the job, but. You know, for us, we can wear this for about an hour at the most before we really get uncomfortable and you can kind of feel it digging into your shoulders. So just be aware that, you know, it is what it is, but they aren't the greatest shoulder pads. Uh, it also does have a sternum strap here. So this is adjustable and on the sternum strap, it does have a, a little whistle on it. So if you need to use that for some reason, but it is nice that they have a, a good adjustable sternum strap. And then it does have some other webbing on here that is reflective. So, and then something, you know, you could put some boot bags into these straps right here. And then that's about it. It, has, it doesn't have a waist strap at all on this model, on the Plus 2 model. And the only other thing is that the Plus 2 model, it's called Plus 2 or Plus, because it comes with a storage bag. So if we talk about that real quick, the storage bag is really just a simple, a very wide open bag. There's no dividers in here, anything like that. And then it does have a Velcro strap to put that uh, dog name tag on there if you get one of those. And then it has this other pocket here. 
Um, the way that this attaches is you see it's got these four tabs on here. So it goes onto the straps and goes on just like that. So really handy when you're out there, if you know you're gonna be needing some extra gear and you, you know, are out by yourself, these are really handy to carry some of your own personal belongings as well as some treats and stuff for the dogs. So. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about measurements and sizing here. So Angel's gonna help you guys figure out some sizing. We're gonna show you guys how to properly measure your dog. First, you wanna get, you know, a flexible tape measure if you have one sitting around. Most of the time, the dog won't get freaked out by these. But you start at their collar and then measure down to the start of their tail. So Angel is right at 17 inches. And then they want you to measure around their girth here. So you can take tape measure, measure around the deepest part of their chest. Yeah. And Angel is right at 20 inches. So with a 17 inch length and a 20 inch girth, she's right at the medium size and so we just want to show you guys that you know how to do that proper measurement to figure that out and so now if we show you how she fits so let's show you how she fits in the medium and then we'll show you how it should visibly look very much smaller when we put her into the small bag she okay she's being a really good girl and we're going to show you how she fits in these bags and how you should put your dog in here they do provide some instructions with the bag so there are a couple different ways to do this. We're gonna show you today how we put her in the bag and we found it's really the easiest way for us to do it. Again, she's around 17 pounds. You know, we gave you her, her measurements. So she's sort of a smallish dog um, and that's a little bit nicer. I don't know, I'm not sure how these people carry these big old dogs in here, but we're talking about putting them in. You wanna get it on the ground. You wanna make sure you tuck the backpack straps under it because otherwise what can happen is when they get in here, they'll either step on them or those straps will sort of get it all tangled up. So you wanna get those out of the way if you can. So you get this opened up as wide as you can, pull the bottom of it back to try to open it up. Now when it's brand new, it's, you know, it's, it's gonna be a little stiff, so you're gonna to have to let it work in. But what you're trying to do is set your dog's butt as far back in here as possible, and then at the same time, get their front legs as close as possible to these front leg holes that you can. So what we do is we just pick her up, you set her in, and you try to tuck their tail down between their legs, and you just sort of guide them. And again, they'll get used to this after a while. And you can see here, she's really sitting right, right close to the hole, so just pick one up at a time, put their leg through. And if you see that their legs, their back feet are kind of spread out, try to tuck them in. And they're gonna always try to stand up like you saw her do. We make sure their legs are through. And again, like she's stepping on the loop right now, so you wanna make sure that's out of the way before you start pulling it up. And then just pull it up like this. All right now the instructions are gonna show you a little bit different. But I just say hold it with one hand like this, the two sides, and then if you need to, tuck that flap in and then zip that up. And that's gonna protect their hair. Okay, so then you get this zipped up and as you can see, it, it kind of looks, if you can tell on camera, looks a little bit big, like you can't even see her head. It's sort of sinking down in here. And that shows you that the bag is a little bit too big for them. So again, what they have is they have these booster blocks that you can put in there. It basically looks like a, a yoga block in our opinion. So if we take this booster block, cause I'm not gonna pick her up when she's without this in here because it doesn't fit her very well. Okay, and then you put the strap through the zipper tab to keep that zipper from coming undone. And then you can take the back straps, strap those and cinch them down as much as you feels needed. You can see they can kind of stand and hold themselves up, but it's not, not the most comfortable and then what I do is I grab that strap on the front so you can see that here. And she's really comfortable in here now. So she'll, she'll just lean back for us, <laughs> you know, and just do this. So she's a, a real good girl about it. But what I do is I hold on to it like this, put one hand, grab the other strap, support it and I kind of lean forward because their feet will kind of get in the way. 
So you see their feet kind of gets in there and you got to flip it up. And then once you get it on at this point, I actually join the sternum strap basically as like a safety strap so that if they do fidget or if this slides, they're not going to fall off my shoulders and then tighten the straps down and that's it. And kind of, you might want to grab the bottom and make sure it's, you know, supported and everything feels good. Uh, but you're going to notice that if you stand straight up, they're going to kind of be leaning back a little bit. So again, that's why those middle straps are good to just make them feel a little bit more secure uh, when you tighten those down. So you can see how she looks. So, you know, these are pretty comfortable. Um, again, my, uh, my problem with these is the backpack straps and the sternum strap. They're not the most comfortable. Sternum strap is very high on these bags compared to a lot of other day bags or camelbacks that you might use for mountain biking. So be aware that the sternum strap is very high. It would be nice if they would just upgrade these, this whole system altogether, make this all more adjustable for, you know, a variety of people. They could easily move these down. You can see how high these actual uh, buckles come up to the armpit area, which again, on a regular day pack or even a camelback is not going to happen. These straps are going to be much longer. And this part is going to be down here on the majority of other backpacks that you're using. So you can see there is just, you know, some little bit of issues with the way it fits, but it is what it is. And again, you know, when you're out on the bike, for example, and you're sort of hunched over like this, it'll, it is a little bit more comfortable, but as far as I'm concerned, when I'm doing hiking with her, you know, I do notice that you're doing this type of thing a lot because again, you have these buckles that instead of being down here somewhere, they're right up here getting close to your armpit or, you know, just this general area. So a few critiques that we have about the bag, but other than that, you know, we really like it and like the way that it works. So let's get her in the small and show you how she fits into that one. All right, now let's show you how she fits in a small bag and she, she's being really good for us. So I hope you guys have stuck around and helped support the channel. If you decide to purchase this by using our affiliate links down below, we'd really appreciate the support and Angel will appreciate the support. So let's show you real quick how she fits in a small because again, even though she was right at that medium size, sit, uh, she can fit into a small bag, but we've just noticed that it's a little bit of a tighter fit. So I'll put her legs through first. That up. And I mean, you should be able to tell right off the bat on camera here that, you know, this is a much tighter fit for her. You know, it's not a bunch of material that you could see on the medium size hanging down. You can see she's able to support herself up a little bit better. So again, you're gonna have to measure your dog and decide which size is best for you. Personally, I think that these, this small size is a little too small for her because when we get her up and actually on her back, so we actually get, get her on here, it's, I'm 5'11", 160, this is a small bag to wear, okay? So again, that's something you're gonna have to consider is who's wearing the bag and even if your dog is meant to fit in a small bag, if you're a big person, or you know, a medium sized person, whatever you wanna say, uh, then these bags may not fit you the greatest. I mean, you can see here that this sternum strap is all the way down. I have these straps tightened up about as much as I can handle. And this sternum strap's about right in my throat here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, again, something to be aware of. All right, so did K9 Sports Sack nail it or fail it on this one? Well, tell us, tell us, Angel. The K9 Sports Act nail it or fail it? The K9 Sports Act nail it or fail it? <laughs> yes! Yes, as you can see, Angel loves her K9 Sports Act. Just like we say, this company nailed it on this product. This is a backpack that we highly recommend for anybody who wants to take their dog out on any type of adventures, whether it's in the city, out in the mountains, on the trail for hiking or mountain biking. This is a safe backpack that you can take your furry little friend out with you on those adventures. Again, realize that if you are doing something like mountain biking or extreme hiking, 14ers, bouldering, you want to be responsible and know the limitations of yourself. You don't want to be responsible for hurting yourself or your furry little friend 
that would break anybody's heart. So again, be responsible, be aware of the limitations and what you're doing when you're out on the trail using a canine sports sack. Now, if you are interested in some other reviews on some dog products, definitely hit that subscribe button right now for long-term reviews on this Fi GPS dog tracking collar that can help you find your dog if they get lost or just track their daily steps, kind of like a Fitbit for a dog. We're also gonna be coming out with a long-term review on the Dog Goggles Rexpec brands, Rexpecs, and it's a really great brand, really great product to help protect your dog's eyes from debris and like branches when you're going mountain biking. So hit that subscribe button for those alerts when we come out with that. And also again, remember, Help support the channel by purchasing through our affiliate links down below. We have a special code today for you guys for 10% off on the K9 Sports Sack website. Save 10% by using code NAILED or FAILED. We'll have that code down below. But again, help support the channel and thank Angel by using our affiliate links down below here in the YouTube description as well as on the article at NAILEDORFAILEDREVIEWS.COM. And remember, if you have a cat or a dog, help control the pet population by getting them spayed or neutered, support your local rescues. Like if you like, subscribe. Thanks for watching Nailed or Failed Reviews.